Circle Vocabulary Radius A radius is a line from the center of the circle to the perimeter of the circle. I like to think of it as halfway across the circle. Diameter A diameter is a line segment that goes through the center of the circle and whose endpoints lie on the circle. So the diameter goes all the way across the circle and it is twice as big as the radius. Pi Pi is an irrational number, which means it continues on forever without a pattern. So pi would be read as 3.14159265353 and I'm going to stop there for now. So instead of using this number that continues on forever, we're going to use the number 3.14 to represent pi. Area of a circle. Area of a circle is the total number of square units within the circle. So if I was to draw a circle, the area is going to be the space inside of the circle. The formula for area of a circle is a equals pi r squared, which means area equals pi times the radius squared. So in order to find the area of a circle, we are going to follow three steps. Step one is to write the formula for area of a circle. So the formula is a equals pi times radius squared. Step two is to multiply the radius by itself. This is the r squared in the formula. So if we look at that circle on the left, we can see that the radius is 5 centimeters. Because remember, radius goes halfway across the circle. So if we multiply the radius by itself, 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Step 3. Substitute 3.14 for pi and multiply. So in the formula, instead of the pi symbol, we are going to replace that with the number 3.14. 3.14 times 25 is equal to 78.5. So the area of this circle would be 78.5 centimeters squared. Example number two. Step one is to write the formula for area of a circle. A equals pi times radius squared. Step two, multiply the radius by itself. And this is the r squared in the formula. If we look at the circle, we should notice that they gave us the diameter, not the radius. So we know the diameter is equal to 8. And remember, the radius is half of the diameter. So if the diameter is 8, that means the radius is 4. When we multiply that by itself, 4 times 4 is equal to 16. This brings us to step 3. Substitute 3.14 for pi and multiply. So we're going to replace the pi symbol with 3.14, and 3.14 times 16 is equal to 50.24. So the area of this circle will be 50.24 centimeters squared. So notice for this one, there was a little trick in there, and that was to identify that they gave us the diameter instead of the radius. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, I have two more problems I want you to try. Find the area of the circles below using the formula a equals pi r squared. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. The area for circle number one is 12.56 inches squared, and the area for circle two is 314 millimeters squared. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause, review your work, and see if you can determine your mistake. Thank you for watching.